Hachi machi, that middle class famous tour is in full swing, Gipperino. You ain't lying, fatty. It's a live comedy show. We play a little AYG with the crowd. Great way to introduce people Ooh. to the show. Bring the squad. Come out and see us. We're coming, baby. Yeah, gang, these tickets are selling quickly. Uh, so make sure you get your tickets. We're coming in. Uh, we're going to be Red Bank, New Jersey. Then we're going to Seattle, Ooh. Portland, all in August. Then in September, we're going Kansas City, Springfield, St. Louis. Then we're going down to Nashville, hitting Indy. Coming home to Philly, baby. The chickens got to come home to roost. Yeah. Then we're hitting Providence, Rhode Island, up there to Beantown. Get those tickies. Let's go. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Take two! A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that they grew up to be classy. Yeah. They're, they're just a big old piece of shit. Trash, trash, I'm shit, your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. <laughs> We're down here at Antody's basement. The recession is hitting the household very hard. Oh, no. She just tried to sell me back their vacuum cleaner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For the listener, I just did a take two. I did the same joke. That was rewrite. Still baby. got him. <laughs> Still got him. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. It's a family episode. This is a serious broadcast. God damn it! Quit screwing around. Stop flubbing lines. <laughs> this guy stinks. I'll take ninety-eight of the intro. <laughs> Who's doing these cue cards? What's going on? My co-host is coming at you from across the table, as I said. It's a family episode. He uh -huh. is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He is the Prince of Park Avenue, mm -hmm. the king of the boards. Yeah. Fucking Mr. Neptune 2005. <laughs> okay. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Is that the new one you told me you were going to drop? He goes, I got one. Just wait for it, and it's Mr. <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> what are you talking about, my Pharrell? Come on. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes over there. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Shredder up! T-Bone from the Raptors. Cookin'. And then obviously, I mean, the fucking army of garbage. Shout out to www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Mm -hmm. The greatest goddamn website in all this here land. Woo. Shout out to Sam Yam and Jack Conte, the founders of that fucking greatest website over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, peep them back right there. Little bobbleheads with the boys. Beautiful piece uh, of artwork right you can there. Sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. And then you get the fan favorite, Hard Feelings, which mm -hmm. is a completely different podcast than AYG. Some would say better. I would say that. I got a list today, too. Ooh, I'm <laughs> uh, coming it's, at you. It's behind the scenes. It's me and a big man. We really go at it. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, you know behind behind the curtain a little bit. Yeah, a little HR. A little so, clean, cleaning out the bad blood. Yeah. yeah. It's the only way we know how to do it. <laughs> Dysfunction. It's uh -huh. where we like to live. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. He crosses the T's. He dots the I's. Give it up for Tebow McMuffin, Mr. Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? All right. If anybody wants to see the outtakes, I'm fully blown on the intro. You can Venmo oh, me at Toby McMullen. I like I'll send that. you the outtakes. And the, another thing, Mr. Neptune sounds like a professional bowler. <laughs> Shout out to the tune. No, Mr. Neptune would be the person, like the mermaid dancer, the like the uh, the mermaid of the boardwalk. What? The mermaid of the board? That's not like, a thing. Like, yeah, like, yeah, they do like short towns. They have like the mermaid award for like, it's like a pageant. Mr. Neptune would be like the guy with the trident that comes out of the water, like Aquaman. All right, that's so. It's an award I won. I'm yeah, Mr. Neptune. You were named Mr. Neptune down uh, the. You're boardwalk. Mr. Idiot. Let's continue. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I mean, what is it like? Maybe in the 1920s they did that. Yeah. Step right up. Step right in. That's what I was getting at. Okay. Jesus. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your bid stunk. All right. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. Take 48. <laughs> We were talking about this slightly. Uh, what were we talking about? We were talk I got something I want to say, too. Okay. Uh, we were talking about this slightly on the uh, on the aeroplane that we were just on together. Mm -hmm. um, picking up your check from work. How did you use to, 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 to pull that move? What did you do? <laughs> I assume you were a Friday guy the second they were ready. Because yeah. that's how I like to roll. Well, most of high school, I worked at a grocery store. Shout out to Acme. The Acme. I was a bagger. Local 1144, I believe. She, I forget what the local was. I was in the union, though. Had to pay my dues. All right, relax. You weren't putting up any fucking hotels in Vegas. I was blowing <laughs> <Yeah>. up taxis. <laughs> Kippy Buffalino over here. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
<laughs> I'm a hard-working union man, all right? At 13. Like Rosie the Riveter. Um, <laughs> With a bonnet and everything. <laughs> Big set of cans on me. Uh, yeah, I worked at a grocery store. So Friday after, I think they would have been ready Thursday. I forget what it was. Whatever Love day, the Thursday ready. Whatever day they were ready, we would go scoop them. If you weren't working, you'd go scoop them, and then they cashed them right there. Because supermarkets used to do that oh, cash payroll right. you checks. You told me that. That's and they would sweet. charge you a little bit, but not if you worked there. Like you, like if you went in as sure. a non-employee, they would cash it like up to whatever, $2,000. And take whatever you know they wet their beaks. Charge but, you a cucumber, <laughs> but we wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't charge us. So I'd walk. I'd walk with cash right away. That's nice. Oh, real nice. Dangerous. And for I the would weekend, say, I, and then I would buy a pack of Bernies right there too. Shout out to the Marlboro, <laughs> Marlboro Miles. I was smoking back then, high school. Uh, I love the Thursday ready. They're ready on Thursday. But they don't. You're not allowed to come get them till Friday. But if you work that shift Thursday, you might be able to leave with it. They'd let you take it home. Hey, tomorrow's my day off. You care if I grab it? I yeah. won't cash it till tomorrow. Oh, if those fuckers weren't there, man. I had to come on my day off. Fucking feel like a loser. Checks ready? Yeah. Then you got to fucking hang up by the bar. And well, they're not quite ready yet. They used to love fucking stringing you along. Yeah. But every, the smart kids would go get it on Monday. Why? To not fucking blow it for the weekend. Yeah, but then I what, what am I gonna not party on the weekend? I gotta have my fucking I gotta have my Miller High Lifes. <laughs> like a fucking asshole I'm gonna sit there like a judge. No shit. <clears throat> but those kids that fucking had a good head on their shoulders, they'd wait till Monday. I was I've been poor my whole entire I mean, I've I've been living and I you know, some would argue my bank account would argue that I'm still living paycheck to paycheck at the moment. Uh but yeah, I never, I never had money ever. I don't know if you want me to cut this or not, but the reason we started talking about it is because you said we might switch over to paychecks. We well, yeah, which that's I right. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me yeah, and T Bone yeah. waiting here at fucking. No, I don't like that. T Bone won. <laughs> no, 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 no. T Bone won it. But no, no, for... people who cash checks are crackheads. I want direct deposit like a gentleman. <laughs> sure. Yeah, nah, it would be man. direct deposit. I'm not going to print you out a check. Ah, come on, that'll no. be fun. No, 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 no. Put a little mail for tax purposes. Toby, grab... this is hard feelings. Content. Grab my what are you check. Doing? Phil X, they're screwing me. <laughs> also on the Patreon, I didn't know Phil Phil X, Phil X sent me a picture of it uh, when we called him to see if we could afford the to sponsor the race. Our card. financial advisor, Phil X. He put new guy Luke put a picture of Phil X like on the phone, like in the corner. It's really fucking good. Oh uh, new guy Luke does good stuff. He's all right. He's a good kid. I uh, I wanted to bring this up. Uh, it's been very well documented about how I manage uh, the eggs in my apartment. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. I crack an egg if I'm making some scrambies in the morning, which I tend to. You crack it and put it back in the thing. I, and I, I made a video the other day. A lot of hate. A lot of hate. Sure. You, you know, you would have thought I fucking which we're together. threw a baby in the Grand Canyon or something. We're together on this. I always thought that you didn't like it, that the missus did it, and you thought it was crazy. No, I do it. She's not the biggest fan, but sure, that's, that's what brings us to this. Okay. So I made that video. Uh, I got trashed pretty hard. Uh-huh. And she was like, yeah, what and are we... For the, for the record, it's cracking an egg. Cracking an egg. Keep, keep the dozen of eggs on the counter where you're making bread. And you put the shells in there. I put the shell back in, close it up, put it in the fridge. And when the 12 is gone, <laughs> the end of the weekend. <laughs> end of the week, dude. Sometimes it's like a day and a half if I'm having breakfast for din din. <laughs> I'm doing keto. <laughs> Fucking 90 eggs, a, 90 eggs a week I'm on. Yo, Rock, take it easy. <laughs> okay, all right. Then, then you throw it out. I, I do the same out. thing. Mm -hmm. It limits cross contamination. That's what I say. The sound, yeah. the, the 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 yolk gets everywhere. If, if you're, it gets all over the fucking. Gets place. everywhere. And if you don't have a garbage, this started when I moved out on my own in college for the first time. It didn't have a garbage disposal. I grew up with the garbage disposal. You just fucking chuck them in there. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. What do you do with them? Do you have a garbage disposal? Never. You still don't? Like in your, your family? Your mom's no, not? Patty doesn't have a garbage are disposal? Are you nuts? No, Does that's that thing have suckers. power down there? How are you guys doing? That's you for You got suckers. the professor on a fucking stationary bike? Yeah, no. No garbage disposal. I don't Wait, even... a garbage disposal for suckers? Yeah. Uh, please show me this logic. Because that's more piping. It always breaks. It always Something always goes wrong. It's been in my house for 35 years. There's never been an issue. No, nah, you drop your wedding ring down there. It, no. Yeah, that's my kind of videos. <laughs> <laughs> you get stuck when your aunt comes over. 
Um, now no, she gets stuck. Who Why would you get stuck in the garbage disposal? Is it always the girl that gets stuck? We, yeah, what's the guy going to do if he's stuck? He's right. hemmed up. Hey, get back here. I want to fuck you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> hey, it's Cindy. Don't go nowhere. Well, I'm going to run and call the plumber. Oh, you can just suck my dick real quick. <laughs> what the hell kind of video are you watching? I didn't know it was always the girl that got stuck. <laughs> yeah. All right. I didn't know you could crack eggs in there either. What? Yeah. Can you put cans and shit in there too? <laughs> it's not an incinerator. I don't know. <laughs> Eggshells are pretty hard. You put your dead pets down there. <laughs> Eggshells aren't hard, you idiot. That's crazy. They're like the most delicate thing in the world. No, but they're jagged. That's like <laughs> they glass. Come, they come padded, man. That's like glass, though. What? That's nuts. You could put eggshell. Oh, man, I always wanted one of those. Yeah, I thought they were for suckers. And his ex- his response was because it's more pipes. Yeah, you're not living like a poor person. Mm. Um, so that's when I started when I didn't have a garbage disposal. Because then you throw them out. And in my younger days, you would throw them out. And then that trash wouldn't always make it out right away. Mm-mm. But like in college, you'd, I'd, there'd be like two or three bags stuck up. There's eggs falling You ever out. have a bad egg? You ever crack open an egg and it just smells like sulfur? I don't think so. Ooh. I'm real weird with my eggs. I keep them tight, too. I did that once. I don't know what happened. If they got left out or something like that, whew, it's like someone threw a fucking stink bomb in the kitchen. But my oh, fuck, I wish I took a picture of it this morning. While, I, while we were gone, while we were out there in La La Land, uh-huh. my wife went and bought a whole an egg, like a ceramic egg holder. So I can't do that no more. Oh, that sucks. So yeah. you take them out of the... I know what you're talking and about. Put them in this like nice, which little, I don't like because it's classy. No, it's very classy. But you don't know how long they've been there. That's the only egg, problem, dude. Eggs do not last in my apartment. Also, okay. I heard this thing: you can feed them to the dog. It's like a really good sense uh, thing of protein. T Bone, can I get eyes on the that? The carton? No, the eggshells. Oh, the eggshells. I don't know. But that uh, I don't trust that. I don't know, but it says it's like a f- huge source of calcium. Because Patty, Patty somehow now has man an that in- Philly just kills <laughs> Patty somehow now has an in on somebody with chickens. I don't what? know. I, I don't what know. is this broad doing now? I don't know, but she has started to... Sh- the d- organic eggs have started to show up in the house that she's getting <laughs> yeah, from we somebody. We ain't got a chicken. No, we ain't got a chicken, and she writes on it the date. On the egg? Uh, no, not on the egg. Oh, who knows what she's doing down there? She writes on the Girl carton. Screwballs. She writes on the carton, hey, we got these uh, at this date. I don't trust that. I don't trust it either. I don't That's trust why I, her inventory system. I'm sorry. I love you, Patty. I, I want a fucking grocery store stamp uh, on the carton to you know. You can't trust those either, though. I know. See, those establishments get real wonky with, uh, you know, the dates. I've seen the 60 Minutes expose. Ha- That's I've- why you go in the back for the milk. Go all the way to the back. It don't matter. It'll yes, it you. does. Get, get a you. fresh one. And get you all the time. It's colder back there too. Uh, this this eggshell dog thing. I don't know about this. That's dumb. You can technically anything that starts with technically. Uh, I don't know about uh-uh. it. You give feed it rice and hamburger e- meat when they when they got diarrhea. You can technically feed your dog eggshells, but only if your veterinarian thinks it's a good idea. That's not what I saw. <laughs> you eggshells gotta find a, contain. You got to find a vet to play ball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which some dogs need supplemented in their diets. However, there are easier ways to give your dog more calcium, and eggshells aren't the tastiest option. Yeah, yeah nuts. How I about a couple of fucking milk bones, dickhead? Oh, yeah. Eggshells can be an excellent source of calcium and protein for your dog, and they will they will support strong bones and healthy teeth. Yeah, who wrote that? Egg.com? <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> a dog wrote that. <laughs> 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 that was signed patches. <laughs> I also didn't steal your slipper. <laughs> <clears throat> so what heat are you taking? What do you mean? Was there more? Was there was there was there more to that? No, it's just now I can't do it. That's egregious. I can't leave open cracked eggshells just out in the open air of the fridge. Oh, that's I how, was sealing them up. That's how and s- hiding them. That's how smart people deal with morons. What they take it away from you? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's what I do to you. Yeah, no shit. Um, yeah, so no. Crap. So I'm kind of screwed. I'm a little upset. I didn't get to have my eggies this morning because I was in such a bad mood. I was fucking pissed, and she set me up real, real fucking cute too. I was in the kitchen. I wasn't eating. I didn't. She was making my. She's like, "Hey, can you hand me an egg?" I'm like, "Well, you're in the kitchen. You just get. She's like, I'm busy." I walked She's in. She's got to train you. I- <laughs> <laughs> she rub your face in the eggshells. <laughs> I got scritches afterwards. <laughs> 
I was on my knees, had my neck up. <laughs> Get over here, let me rub that belly. Yeah, so I'm pissed, man. That's how, I, that's how I've done it since I moved out of my fucking house, you know, in college. Well, this is how I'd handle it at the Foley household. 15 years or some shit. You're not going to do it this way. What? You just do it anyway. No. Let them know who's boss. No, that's just outrageous. Just throw them in there. That's outrageous. Well, you're asking. It does look cool, t- better, I, too. It looks I guarantee better. You, you do that a couple of times. That Ed Carton will show right back up. I also don't know how, right, this is the perfect setting for something like this that takes that extra step of work. She just bought it two days ago. She came home, filled it up. It looks great. But in the hustle and bustle of a day-to-day life, yeah, I don't know if she's gonna. You got em- tickets mounting up, yeah. fucking in the middle of the fucking lunch shift. I don't know if she's gonna fucking yeah. get place those in there at all times. Yeah, you know what I mean? try and doing then- that when you're in the weeds on a western omelet. I know, you know what I mean. Trying to get them hot and hot and fresh out there to the fucking crowd. Yeah, uh, I got a question for the gentleman from Pennsylvania. T Bone. Uh, uh, so this is a thing in the South. You know, every mom I feel like has stuff in the kitchen that's too specific and just sort of jams up the works. Did you guys have the deviled egg tray in your homes? What? No. Wait, maybe in like the like in the one part of the uh, kitchen where like all the shit is as far as like the casserole. I don't even know what that is. The casserole dishes and stuff like that. You weren't that wasn't out on a daily basis, was it? No, it would just be jamming up a cabinet somewhere. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I don't sure. know what a deviled egg tray is. Oh, that thing? Nah, we didn't have that. It looks like it looks like a like a painting thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. How no. many deviled eggs were you eating down there? None. <laughs> that's why I was jamming up the works. That's what, that's, what, that's what this kid's trying to fucking tell us. Walking around in a seer sucker suit, eating deviled eggs every day. Nah, you know what I fucking... I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> in Chicago. Uh, one thing I did fucking hate that would jam up the fucking... We had a, like I said, we had a Lazy Susan. Still do. Still down there. Still spinning around. Um, the Lazy Susan in the cabinet, like in the corner cabinet. Sure. At the bottom. Well, would always fucking jam me up real hard. The man. blender was in there. Nah, yeah, no, nah, it was that mainly thing falling apart. Mainly tough. We, the blender stayed out. I think really we had a lot of counter space out there. The blender stayed out. Yeah. Whoa. Uh huh. <laughs> Big margarita family. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, baby. Nisi booms party. Broad likes a mudslide, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. The blender out. That's wild. Maybe I couldn't. Mm, that's uh, crazy. No, no, I'm correcting myself. It was under. It was in a different cabinet under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm correcting myself. It, it for sure didn't stay out. It was under something. Um, But uh, that fucking uh, lettuce dryer. Did you have that? You out of your fucking mind. That plastic thing that you uh, paper fucking- towel? Yeah, we had, <laughs> we had that. No fucking way. I would have had my G.I. Joe's in there. <laughs> Doing I- a Gravitron. <laughs> <laughs> Skeletors. All right, three tickets, Skeletors. <laughs> Skeletors all smoked up in the Gravitron. <laughs> G.I. Joe's DJing <laughs> in the middle. Uh, Get the fuck out! That I thing, fucking, another thing. That thing jammed up every fucking drawer that was in. I remember just fucking. That smashing. thing was nice, and it spun. Yeah, yeah, man. That's when everybody got. I don't know if you might be too young to remember this. There was a moment in the '90s where. Everybody freaked out about how clean their their vegetables were. They're gonna you get the salmonella and the stuff on there, and they're recalling fucking spinach and all that stuff. I didn't start eating vegetables till about 2014. It was wild. It was so wild that they came out with this product that people used for a long time that you sprayed on your uh, fruit and then washed it. It was like soap for your fruit and vegetables. That's still that's still that's still out What's there. What's it called? Uh, vegetable wash or something. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, it's, I just said vegetable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Something along those lines. No, I had like a cool name, like a Frelony or something like that. Or Freelon spray or something. That doesn't sound like non chemically. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you want to clean your vegetables with Freelon spray. Well, it was something. And it came Raid. out. It came out. To- <laughs> Kill those goddamn bugs. It, it came out that that wasn't that good for you. The wash sure. wasn't good for you. T Bone, you got anything? Buddy, I got nothing. Huh? I got some veg. I got some Arm and Hammer, Hammer vegetable wash. Yeah, we do that. We got some stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She likes to go like uh, anti chemical sometimes. That's Those right. Europeans are all natural. I know. I know what they're doing. Kip, okay, let's talk about Mint Mobile. Ooh, Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile. Let's talk about Mint Mobile, and I want you to hear me loud and clear. Uh huh. Because that's the way you're gonna hear it on Mint Mobile. And you know what else? You're not getting jacked by some long term contract. You're not getting a bunch of hidden fees. 
15 beans a month. 15 bucks? Out the door. And let me tell you who's got the stamp of approval on that. Who's that? Patty. Patty's all over. Switch. Yeah. Switch. Uh, what's this Mint Mobile? I keep hearing about this yeah. Mint Mobile. There's got to be a catch. It's too good to be true. It ain't Patty. It's not. I'm telling you that right now. Switched what, over. What's the catch? Uh, there is none. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mint Mobile Secret Sauces, they were the first company to sell wireless service online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores. They're not paying rent on every goddamn corner in New York City, Philadelphia, Chicago, Los Angeles. There you go. No, they cut out all the research, retail stores, pass those sweet savings directly on to you. 15 for, bucks. 15 bucks. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 clams a month. Look at it. Uh, gives you the best rate whether you're buying one or for a family. And Mint Family started just two lines. That's New tight. age family. That's, That's what I like. Yeah. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep the same number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile, get premium wireless, start at just 15 bucks. Listen, to get this plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped directly to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Now back to that show there. Back to the show. All right, let's get into some fucking questions over here. What do you say? I think we should do some cues here, gang. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon there, mm-hmm. you get a question read on the air. Yes. We receive a lot of submissions, but this is just the best way to do it. Those Patreons get a first crack at it. Yes, her. they do. Shout out to the homies. Um, all right, this one's from Ryan. How trash is it to have two roommates and those roommates are marrying each other? That's bad. He said, also, Yanni P called you guys the Wawa twins, and I'm here for it. Which, <laughs> shout out to fucking... Shout out to Yanni P. Yanni I like P. it. Um, ever live with a couple? No, we... You're going to hate me for this, and... I already do. <laughs> uh, when, my, when my lady was moving here, uh-huh. and we got that apartment that I first had up in the Heights, the first apartment... We With had. our friend? No, no, no. The one I went to phone oh. out on my own and got when she was coming for like six months at a time. And stuff. You did? Oh, yeah. The, you used to Airbnb that joint. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, when we were looking for that, my wife, like, she was like, let's find something, like a room even. <sighs> and I was like, you're fucking, no way am I living with, am I being a couple with a fucking some strange weirdo, guy or girl. I'm like, no fucking way. Dude. Yeah, uh, that's wild. Yeah, that's that was like a no fucking, mm-hmm. no way would I ever want to do that. Now, looking at an apartment with that, it's a couple and you are like. Well, a lot of co- not a, a lot of comics did that when they moved to New York for the first time. They were living with like a couple or like a married couple that had a room and they would rent that room. Mm. I'll take a stranger. Oh, it's too, I've done Straight that. up. Uh-huh. I'd rather stranger straight up. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, not with your lady. That's no bueno. No, can't do that. Mm-mm-mm. Um. All right, this one's from Mike Crawford. Ten dollar homie. First question: Is it garbage to mix two different types of pasta? I made shells and angel hair, and it blew my hair back. <laughs> I've done it for sure. It's a good time. It makes you feel a little fancy, even though it's real trash. Shells and angel hair? Shells and angel You at least got to go like same shape-esque. Yeah, linguine and fucking spaghetti or something. Yeah. Shells and rigatoni. You can't go fucking, you can't go long in shorts together. That's fucking crazy. Mm Mm-mm. That's weird, man. No, you can't be doing that. Although I've done that so many fucking times. So many times. You know what drives me crazy? I'll run into this every once in a while at the house. Not so much now because I'm kind of off the path there. When they don't make the whole fucking thing. I just made a half of the box. Put the whole box in there. What are we doing? (laughs) I I don't think you're supposed to make the whole box. Yes, you are. One thing of spaghetti and one thing of sauce. That's That's how it matches up. That's for that. Listen. Well, then why does the sauce have a resealable lid if you're supposed to use the whole thing? Because you have to put the water in there to shake it up, and then you could reuse it for something like a glass for for milk. Then why would you need a lid? You're still not answering my question. What? You're not. A serving size is not a box and jar of pasta sauce. I think that 100 percent is. I think that would be the industry I mean, dude, standard like, <laughs> of of Americans. I don't know why I said it like that. American. <laughs> Americans <laughs> like pasta, and I'm American. Don't you think that maybe you're Take no, I'm not, I'm, not, you're, I'm not giving you this. But don't you think maybe your take on serving size is a little skewed to, Fair, the, to the heavier I'm end? I'm not saying you eat the whole thing, you leave, then you have leftovers. You're telling me you don't make a whole box of pasta when you make pasta. No, half. Get the fuck out of here. What are we doing? We're just going to lie? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to lie to each other here? I don't, know what to be you, friends. I don't know what you want from me. Toby, help me out. If I'm making it with my wife? 
Yeah, okay, you might make it another way. Yeah, make the box of pasta. There you go, Toby. It depends. What? I don't think that a jar of sauce is enough for a whole box of pasta most times. That's, oh, my that God. That might be crazy. Yeah, you're nuts. And first of all. Hey, you- relax. It's pasta, okay? You're about to fucking come across the table. Easy does it, big fella. I, I don't know why it's a resealable uh, jar, but it is. But I also know you never fucking use half a jar of spaghetti sauce. Then put the lid back on, put it back in the refrigerator, and then use it at a later date. That's fucking disgusting. No, you for sure can do that. No, dude, that gets all nasty. No, it does. it's got an airtight seal. That's crazy. Nobody does that though. I'm tell I Everybody- guarantee you people do that. You've never done that. You've never, not once in your no. life, you've ever resealed a jar of spaghetti. No, I, I find that I insanely fucking cook hard. it all. I cook it all. I cook the whole jar. I put the water in there. I put it in there. I cook the whole jar. Also, too, those little things of tomato paste. You use those. If you don't use all that, you throw that out. You don't fucking wrap that up in tinfoil and put it back in the refrigerator. You know, like the actual tomato paste that you're supposed to add the tomato sauce, like out of a jar. It's in like it comes in like a can a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like real thick. Sure. You know what I mean. Do yeah. you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. If you're making a sauce from scratch with, like, some fucking, some crush. Yeah, that's different than a, yeah, that's, to me, that's a different type of ingredient than a jar of your. I agree. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't, don't think anybody, that's like. You don't reuse that either. I don't think anybody, it's not the same thing. Okay. Than a resealable jar of pasta sauce. It's resealable. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not. So is the orange juice. What? Ah, Damn. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Thank you. But you don't. But everybody, you, you don't fucking save it. You, you make the whole thing. Jesus Christ! You make the whole jar of sauce, don't you, Toby? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Man, I'm not saying it's insane to not do it, but it's, you're acting never like, at you're my acting house. Like it's, a, it's an act of war if somebody reseals uh, uses half a jar of pasta sauce. Well, because then the problem is, then you go into the fucking. The th- you think you have pasta? In, I mean, in let's the let's define. Problem. I don't think this is a huge problem, whatever you're about to explain. But continue. You think you have enough pasta, and then, oh, fuck, there's only a quarter box of fucking fettuccine left. Well, then Next that's thing your... you know, you're going to the shells. Well, who leaves a quarter box? That's insane. A half a But You're not measuring out a half a box perfectly. What? I think I'm right on this. I... You use the whole box of pasta and the whole, and the whole jar of If I'm making a single, if I'm making dinner for myself, it's a half a box. Half a but box you're gonna half put the leftovers in there anyway that you can heat yeah, up. Yeah, but then tomorrow that means I have to. Day. Then I have to eat pasta tomorrow. Yeah, of course. That's what you do when you make pasta. You make it for a couple of days. I think that's what you do. Not everybody does that. I think everybody. The Italians got to be freaking out watching this. No Italians watch this. Is it dirty, dirty people? <laughs> Shout out to Vinny Boombox. <laughs> I see what you're saying, but yeah, I don't know. I've also, I mean, we've argued a lot of things. This is, your your feet are quite dug in on this. That, that, I mean, that's insane to me. Sure, the okay. whole thing's insane. You not backing me up, that's. I'm backing you up. I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> betrayed me. Talking to anybody that will hear me at this point. You sure, make I a whole, you make, you buy one box of pasta, you buy one box of, fuck, you buy one jar of sauce, whether it's Francesco How, Rinaldi. Uh, Prego. That seems like fucking a Fucking whatever you want to use. You want to use fucking Rayos? You got a little bit of money? You do that. <laughs> you make it. You make it all. You heat it all up. Also, and then, I don't and then what you, you don't, that, don't, what you don't I, eat, you put in a tub. I don't believe that you're going to make a whole box of pasta and not eat it also. And one in one sitting. I can't do that. I can't do that. I Are can't. You sit here after I can't. All I can't eat a whole thing. I can't eat a whole box of pasta. I that, maybe does, anybody, get, does anybody believe that? Come on. I'm not sitting there eating a fucking whole thing of uh, pasta out of the. Out You've of the... eaten twelve chili dogs in one day. All right, that's different. Uh, how pasta hits you a little bit harder? What? Maybe if I had a big game the next day, <laughs> had a carbo load. <laughs> all right, all right, we're moving on. We have to agree to disagree on this one because I can feel it slowly descending into Foleyville, where it's not fun. Got <laughs> one jar of sauce in a fridge in Foleyville. Jesus I'll tell you that. Christ. Um, this, all oh, this isn't, all right, this, oh, Jesus Christ, we're in pasta town right now. This ain't good. This, <laughs> we're rolling out. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. This is going to be the end of the podcast. <laughs> Next stop, Manicotti. Uh, this is from Aaron, $10 homie here, never had a question asked. Is it garbage to not cook pasta sauce because the pasta will heat it up when you pour it from the jar into fresh pasta? Okay. I will do that 1,000%. Okay. That- I think that's all I ever do. 
That's real trashy. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my podcast. Are you garbage? It's it's re- re- yeah, of course. It's real trashy. But How- in however, a pinch, it's different pan, different pot. The first time that I discovered you could just do that was like, oh, fuck. I want to go this far. I didn't know you were supposed to heat it up. I thought you just dumped <laughs> it in there. Until like later, on, like way too late. Like Wait, re- to, your, as of recent. Your mom wasn't heating up the sauce? I, I, I said a thousand times. I didn't pay attention what that bra was doing. I was eating garlic bread somewhere, waiting for my fucking sketty to be cooked. <laughs> I was having, I was doing apps. I never paid attention to what she did. I never, I don't know anything about cooking. But like just the whole ambiance of the sauce cooking slow on the stove. Okay, once, but then like, you have the boiling water. Then when you're ready to fucking pull the trigger, okay, the meatballs are done. The whatever's done, you throw the you throw the pasta right, hold on. in the let water. Me, let me pull, let me pop a, a hole in this bubble. You didn't grow up with a simmering uh, thing of sauce on the on the stovetop. When she yeah, well, I'm sure when she was doing that again, I wasn't paying attention. Let's go to now, right? Mm-hmm. Or as of the past ten years, when you're making pasta, it's typically probably for yourself. Sure. Right? You're not doing the, oh, let me simmer the sauce for 45 hours. We do. I, I'm, not, I'm saying if you're making it for yourself, you're not doing I, that. I, I heat the sauce up. Yeah. For how long? I Heating up and letting it. I mean, oh, hold on. The paint, the paint, the picture you just painted was like the, the, the romanticizing letting that simmer for a long no, time. No, I'm not fucking Grandma Nussbaum. That's what right? I'm saying. So if I'm making, I, I always just picture making it in my head for myself. I'm not fucking simmering the sauce for an hour. You, 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 I'll so just you, dump it in the fucking noodles, whip it around, and fucking eat it out of the pot. You empty that I don't wash the outside of, because that's how I get down. Now, if you didn't finish, is that pot going in the fridge whole? No, I'm I, I'm going to make half the pot and I'm going to finish it. This guy with half the box. What the the, the whole thing of spaghetti getting thrown right back in the fridge? Oh yeah, crack that <laughs> lid, make sure the fucking cold air gets to it. Woo! That's the trash. I'll go, I'll than go so far as removing a shelf. I'll rearrange the shelves. That's so on the trash inside. when you go in and someone's shelf is like leaned up against the side of the fridge. I got a keg in there or something. Big pot of num num in there. Oh. Woo wee! Take that thing right out. Throw it right on the fucking heat. A little bit of water. Keep it moving. No. Yeah. I fuck never, yeah. I never. I I'm got- not transferring it from the pot to another fucking thing. Then putting that in there and then leaving that in there. No, you go, you keep it in the pot. When I cook something, I mean, I literally eat to the point of it hurting. I'll eat all of it. That sounds healthy. Yeah. Well, you know, I got some issues too. <laughs> Dr. Drew called me. <laughs> Started eating my eggshells. Uh, no, yeah, I eat them. Uh, I'll eat everything. And then if it's like a little, I'll probably, I'll leave it. Yeah. It's so you're not heating the sauce up. I'm not heating the sauce up. And now, I'm let not me re- ask you I'm this. not reheating pasta. That's To me, I go... I guess this is the way I look at it. I go, I'm not going to reheat pasta. I'll just make it, make half the box, eat that, and then in two days, if I want pasta again, I'll just make the other let, half. Let me Fresh. Ask, let me ask, I'm a gentleman. Say it again? I'm a gentleman. No, before fresh. that. What fresh? Pasta. You'll do fresh pasta. I'm saying I'm not going to eat reheated pasta. I'm not going to... I love ha- it reheated. I understand. I'm just saying I don't. I'm not going to make leftovers. I like to slice it up into little pieces, too. I'm not going to have leftovers. I'm just going to make it again. All right. Okay. Let me ask you this. Buddy, I'm here for it. You're going to make the pasta. You're not going to heat up the sauce. But is the sauce room temperature? You went to the store and got it. You didn't put it in the fridge, right? Yeah, it's room temp. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you just say that you cut your spaghetti with a knife and a fork? I do. I like it like that. Like a toddler? I, I've mentioned this multiple times in the podcast. And he My, has to do the airplane to eat it. <laughs> Open up. Unless they're on strike, then they go the railroad. Uh, Choo-choo. <laughs> Oh, Here, no, the Pinkertons. <laughs> Here comes the Skeddy train. <laughs> All aboard. My Aunt Mary Catherine, shout out to her, would uh, make, she's very Irish, would make pasta. Really? Sounds Polish. <laughs> would make pasta, and then in, in, in the, in the uh, cast iron skillet would add the fucking sauce and cut it up. Dude, it makes it so fucking creamy and so good with a meat sauce. Good night. Mm-hmm. Blow your compression socks right off. <laughs> fucking really good. Yeah, that's how, that's how I prefer it now. I'm fucking slow. I wouldn't do it at a restaurant. We were like, John. Uh, excuse me. Can you have the chef chop this up for me, please? <laughs> I wonder how that Mary Catherine used to make it. <laughs> chop up my skeddy. But, dude, she would do it so fucking good. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. But I've mentioned that before. Sure. Here on this broadcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is from Trown And she used the whole fucking jar of sauce like a lady. Yo, she's making it. I guess. The, I guess. 
Yeah, I, she wasn't making it for about eight people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think when I guess the whole misstep in this is, I also ultimately thought the only time I'm making pasta is I'm, I you would make it for myself when I was you know okay. either single or whatever. So a whole box and a whole jar seemed overkill. I, I always thought that's how you did it. Then you dealt with you dealt with the rest of it. <laughs> I know we just we just had a 12 minute discussion. I understand that's how you thought. I was correcting. But I think where we got off on a uh, off on a uh, off on the wrong foot. One would say. Uh, this was from Trown Drown. Is it trashy to wear jeans with flip flops? I don't think so. I think it's tough now. It was kind of in fashion a few years ago. You got to make a little money to do that, right? It depends you on the jeans. You got to have a little bit of cash. Down the shore, it's all right. You get a nice pair of rainbows, set of jeans, maybe a cuff on them. You're going out to like a little bit nicer of a dinner or something. Sure. Where it's like you're not in your fucking board shorts. I can't shorts. pull it off. No, you got to be in shape. You got to be in shape. You got to be in shape. Got to be in shape. Uh, yeah. Fat guy in flip flop just looks like you can't tie your shoes. Yeah, you're, yeah. Well, it looks like you're late for a final or something yeah. like that. That's a tough yeah. look. You got to be in shape. You got to. You got to have a little bit of a couple of bucks too. Yeah. Tommy Pope could wear. Uh, could wear. You know, Tommy tough Pope. pair of jeans. And he a dreamboat. He dresses like a fucking fox too. Yeah, he Kid does all sharp. right. Does the whole season: summer, fall, winter. Wears real nice stuff. Yeah. Right now he's rocking a lot of uh, linen. linen. Yeah. That's... Hot guys do that, you know? Mm -hmm. Not me. That's, that's why I'm changing to a linen shirt after this before I leave. Shout out to fellow hot guys out there. Uh, this one's from Jono. Is it garbage to wish you had an Uncle Mike like Kippy until you realize your Uncle Pickle's government name is Michael? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking riddle wrapped in a fucking whatever. Holy Uncle shit. Shout out to Uncle Picks. Uncle Picky. Had to be all right. What is he into? He'll buy you six. <laughs> yeah. He was buying you booze when you were 11. Woo! He can have one. <laughs> we started talking about, we were talking about that uh, this this. Uh, yesterday. Okay. Uh, who gave you your first sip of beer? My dad. Your dad. <laughs> the neighbor. <laughs> no. <laughs> the neighbor got me all fucked up. No, yeah, my dad. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, that was big. Let me get a sip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember specifically. It was after a fucking softball game. They were they had a keg. They were all fucking hanging out. Kids were running around. To the eighties. Did you do a keg stand? This is. <laughs> Get your shirt off. Get up there. This is when we used to just play in cars. Kids don't really do that now. We would just play in a parked car. Just fucking climbing over big. everything, pretending to be driving. Knocking someone out or something. Yeah. yeah. So I can, it was, we were a family going on vacation, all kinds of shit. A lot of role playing Jesus going on. Jesus Christ. But we, it was one of these parties. They were like still sweaty. They were like fucking men. Mm -hmm. Fucking ice cold Jenny cream ale. So I remember exactly what kind of beer it was. Was in a plastic cup. He's like, dang, dang it's that one. Yeah, I still taste. You're going to pay for that in a couple of years. Oh, yeah, I can still taste it the uh -huh. one from back in the day. Woo! Uh, I remember it was a New Year's Eve. We were up the mountains. Shout out to Lake Wall and Paul Pack up there. And, Love Lake uh, Wall and Paul Pack. Well, well, <laughs> Just sound like you were doing baby talk. I will wake one wall whack. I love Lake Wall and Paul back. Uh shout out to it. Uh we went up there skiing. You got a halfway decent potato pancake up there. Okay. Yeah. Just anywhere. Just going. Just I mean, okay. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Lake Wall and Paul Pack banana potato pancake. Lake Huck. Wall and Paul Pack potato pancake. That's the name of your dad's softball team, actually. <laughs> <laughs> two up, two down. The potato pancakes look good this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here come the latkes, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be an eight-year-old in the outfield drunk, he looks like. Yeah, they lost to the Blintzes last week. <laughs> <laughs> got to face the pierogies in the World Series of There we go. We got one more? I think that's all of them. <laughs> that's, all, that's all the Eastern European potato <laughs> dishes. The, the hash browns didn't make it out of the round robin. <laughs> Pretty good. That's right. I was going to say the tortellinis, the Italian team. <laughs> okay, we'll go with hash browns. <laughs> hey, there's no wrong answers in spitballing. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? What That's were what just the potato pancakes about? are known for. Uh, your, your dad giving you alcohol. <laughs> yeah. No, we went to a uh, wall and ball pack, the potato pancakes. Um, Capital of the world. <laughs> they have a large Eastern European uh, population up there. Good sure. potato pancakes. I think you just said population, too. Population. <laughs> they have good pierogies, too. Um, what? Dad drinking. Yeah. You're up at the lake. New, Year, New Year's Eve. 
I was, I don't know how old. My brother and cousins were a little older than me. Maybe te- they were teens, so I might have been, I don't know, 11, 12, something like that. Either way, you were annoying. I can tell you that. <laughs> Shut had up. skin marks on my undies. <laughs> skin marks in his undies eating his fucking buddy nudies. They're out hunting for deer. <laughs> You're in there playing duck hunt and eating fucking spots the shells. Yeah, I mean, I was a child. Um, but they all gave us, uh, they gave us like a small taste of champagne for New Year's. All right. And uh, I remember not being a fan, so I asked for a beer instead. I like took a sip, and I'm like, nah, this ain't for me. Let me get one of those fucking CLs that... Fucking Joe's slurping down over there. I was like, hey, this isn't a bar. You don't get to choose. Like, we were being nice enough and, like, you know, letting you celebrate, you know? Hey, keep the Bellini. I say, this, is a, this is a little stale. You got, you got something fresh? Oh. <laughs> Man. When I was a kid, I preferred the Martinelli stuff. The sparkling, sparkling one. cider or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Fuck champagne. Give me the fucking good That shit. was big. Somebody won a tournament. I don't know if it was... I vaguely remember... I don't know if it was a team I was on or my Probably brother not. or cousin or something. <laughs> I forget what it was. I would guess no. <laughs> yeah. And uh, chess club. And they, like, celebrated... Was it the garlic knot championships? <laughs> I came in third that year. <laughs> Which I never fuck with a garlic knot until much later in life. They're a little overrated. Not if you get a good one. Yeah, but that's the problem. You sure. It's tough to get a good sure. one. Sure. So I would say as a whole, they're overrated. And you can't do knots in pizza because it's like just get the pizza or just get the knots. Mm-hmm. That was my, that was my, that's how I got around. Uh, that's how I, that's how I was able to stay fat when we were really, really poor. That's not a thing. I was able the, to stay fat. In the West Village because you could, instead of getting a couple slices at uh, Forenza's, what was it? Fiori's next Fiori's. door. Instead of getting their fucking slices, which are like uh, three, four dollars, you get a fucking order of garlic knots and some sauce for like a buck fifty. Go heavy with the parm cheese. I'm aware. Yeah. I was there, baby. Not bad. Um. Ow. Yeah, but the, oh, they were they like popped Martin. I remember, and I remember being like, "What the fuck?" Is, I thought it was booze. I guess I was really young. I don't know. That shit was hard. We had like a we were like a big, but that's like even weird to me now to be like. 11 year olds popping champagne. That's like we, we wanted to drink as like eight year olds. Yeah, that's how it was fucking set up. It was like, yeah, fucking, can I have a sip here? You can have a thing or whatever. Just wait, you know. And then you show up at that Thanksgiving like, and you have a fucking champagne flute sitting in front of you and they're going around fucking knocking everybody off with fucking Martinelli's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were fucking, you were tripping the lights fantastic. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. They um, got us. This one's real trashy. This is from Wilson. Have you ever finished your date's drink when you stand up to leave a restaurant? Fuck yeah. That's real fucking Exclusively. Trashy. All the time. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Yeah. I'm Ooh. not doing anything. Come on. All right. Will you finish it for me? Yeah. Later. Yeah. yeah. That's real, real Love fucking that. trashy. Love that. Big fan. I'm typically. My wife doesn't booze that much anymore. She'll do one. So typically she'll order it when we first sit. So I'll have it throughout at this point but back in the day it was like i'll give me that i'll fucking skull it Mm -hmm. steal the glass too put it in your purse toots we're walking with this love stealing the glass (laughs) i remember the one time she was like we got back she's like oh i stole this for you i was like i'm gonna marry you you fucking stole it because i was like oh this glass is sweet it was like a goose island glass or something fucking stella glass (laughs) fucking dirt bag man you go down to my mom's house down there in wildwood China cabinet filled. It's like Keenan's in the kitchen, baby. It's fucking, it's fucking Stella stemware. Ever that's like fancy. Big thing of peanut oil. Mm-hmm. That's like we- if you have guests coming. Like, give him Uncle Mike, Uncle Pat. Give him a Stella glass. Let them know. Let them feel fancy. Uh, yeah, we're thieves. I think I broke a lot of them in the dishwasher though when I was quarantining down there. <laughs> Shout out to the Stella glass that blew us away. Uh huh. I don't even Ooh. know where you get those. You gotta, you gotta Steel. order a keg. No, we've never ordered a keg of Stella. I can no, guarantee you that. You stole them from <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, how the restaurant gets it, if you start selling, if you start, if you start well, selling yeah, Stella. They want, they want it branded in the glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Good milk glass, too. Uh, this one's from Michael. First time, long time. Someone breaks out cocktail, alcohol, infused popsicles. For me, that's trash. What are your thoughts? Mm, that and the Jello shots. Jell- never, never they're different. It. The Jello shot and a and a popsicle or Jello shots are 
child trash. That's crazy. Oh, they, to, to put them in the same. Are you state. saying they're doing? They, those did become popular for a minute a few summers ago. They were champagne pops. I think yeah. I mean, you can like make them and stuff. Like I don't think people are really selling. Yeah, them. Like a nice party. Yeah, like or it's day. like a July Fourth party. You're on a boat or a yeah. dock. You break. Nah, oh, it's get fun. the fuck out of here with that. I think I, I think I, I, I told you. I don't know. It was on air when I, we were I was 16. Someone got their hands on like a five gallon bucket of water ice, like you know, like the ones you would see in like Rita's, like in the cooler. Yeah. And we were on a dock at uh, some party on like boat parade or something real trashy. We're all dressed up in fucking red, white, and blue. Everybody's fucking plotzed, and this guy, this guy breaks out a five gallon bucket of fucking blue water ice <laughs> and just starts dumping vodka in it, and like just ship. And dude, everybody's just sitting there getting fucking ossified. Like, you know, had about, I had blue. about three quarts of that shit. I was fucking house. Uh, trying to score with chicks in the fucking bar. Yeah. You get fucking blue raspberry all over your face. Oh, yeah. It's a tough look. But I get it. It's fun in the hey, right moment. The guy moment. with the purple tongue thinks you're hot. Yeah. In the right moment, it's okay. <laughs> but that's a, you know. <coughs> that's trashy. Yeah. It's How do you feel about this? I'm listening. This is on the, on the, the, the home entertaining front. <laughs> Go to a fucking party and someone's whipped up a batch of sangria. You fly with that? That's not my, I think I might have had it once or twice in my life. It's not for me. That kind of shit, I don't. The nice uh, glass pitcher. Sangria was never for me. I don't like, give me a fucking Coors Light. Yeah, any of that shit. Just give me a fucking, give me a, 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 a cooler. A fucking, oh, we, were at, we were drinking fucking freezing cold Bud Lights out of an ice cold cooler. That's the yeah. best. A cold cooler, a fridge. But that's not going to fly with the fucking, with, you know, when that's not when people want to do like a nice spread, when they want to put a nice glass thing of sangria with the chopped up fruit or the fucking alcohol pops. That's that's well, they can that's pottery barn shit. They that's, can do they can have their sangria. I'm going to have a beer. All right. Yeah, that's I mean, I don't know what party or event you're going to where someone doesn't have beers, I even mean, if it's a classy one, you're dr you're drinking Stella out of a stolen glass. Sure. You know. Sure. I'm not, I'm not saying they don't have that. I'm just asking if, if you partake in any of that. No, I don't like any of that. That's what I'm saying. I don't like any of that shit. You just... did the punch in college, right? When you'd make the, the shit? No. Really? In high school, we did that. We uh, would make that. You know. Big on that in college. No. Kegs in college. Okay. Get a keg of lion's head or natty light for about, you know. A couple of nitrous tanks. You like shit. those cherry swizzles or whatever down at the shore? The Tully Nuts. Shout out to the number one tavern. Couple Cherry Swizzlers. Cherry Swizzlers. Who are you, my pop-up? <laughs> How much are they charging you for a Cherry Swizzler nowadays? Sounds like an old guy with real handsy. Uh, yeah. Any, that's different. That's a fun event drink that you can only get in that kind of place. Also, if somebody, uh, a homie hit me up and was like, hey, what's the name of that bar you guys were talking? I told him, like, it's a real hole in the wall. He sent me pictures of being in there. He's like, this place sucks, but it's great. Yeah, it's all right. It's the fucking best bar, baby. Ice cold AC cooking in there. What's the name of that joint? Shout out to the number one tavern down there. Number one tavern down there in Wildwood, New North Jersey. North Wildwood, New Jersey. Nice. Check it out. I'm going to be down there this week. No big deal. Yeah, you going down the shore? Uh, we'll talk about it over there somewhere else okay. on another program we do. Um, this is from Matt. $10 homie. Never had one read. Is it garbage to keep a completely dead plant in your house in hopes that you can still bring it back to life? I love that. Does I, it ever come back? Yeah. I have. There's this big one that we have this big one. And then when my wife was in Germany for a little while, it was on me to fucking she went back to visit the fam. For like two months or whatever, it was on me to fucking keep her keep her alive. I'm big on that. I got a money tree going. Dude, my money tree is cooking. That thing's like my kid. Mm -hmm. I see those the leaves dangling a little bit. Hey, yeah. Load her up. Uh, I'm big on that. It's like uh, I talk to them too. I go grow my babies. Of grow. course, you're supposed, to, <laughs> you're supposed to talk to plants. I do. I'm like you little fucking pussy. You better start fucking growing. Yeah, I think start gonna, flexing on them. I'm gonna kill you in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap around my neck and choke me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> tap water like poison you ivy or shit. something um yeah that's big it's tough people say plants are like easy peasy but like you forget it the problem is if you forget one day it's easy to forget nine days in a row yeah once you get out of the cycle it's real tough to stay on top of it, it. really is i got a cactus or something i can't tell if it's growing or dying <laughs> it won't stand up straight it keeps like trying to crawl out of the pot i'm telling you it's weird that's like a crab, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You got a ferret. <laughs> Because I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a porcupine I, that you put in a pot. I put a stick in there to try to it get it to grow. It keeps biting me. <laughs> it's growing towards the light. Keep finding it in the trash. No, that's the thing. It's growing. <laughs> it's trying, yeah. it's going it's trying a, to kill itself it's going being away, in your it's house. Going, it's going away from the light. <laughs> Jesus Christ, just take me. It's weird. I'll set it up and I'll fucking put it somewhere. And when I come back in the next day, it's laying on its side. It's trying to like climb out of the thing. It's weird, man. Yeah. And maybe this doesn't like a lot of light. But it's a desert plant, no? I don't know if it's a cactus. It's um, not a cactus. I don't think I don't think it's a plant at this oh, point. Oh, no, a succulent. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a cactus, though. Is that a cactus? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's, I mean, in the world of a cacti, and it's, uh, they're supposed to, they live in, like, very, like, low water whatevers. Oh, maybe I'm low drowning, moisture. drowning a little fucking. Yeah, you shouldn't be fucking water. Oh, I water it It's not your day. hydroponics. I do it every day. No, you shouldn't water that every day. Really? Yeah, he's trying to get away from the water, goddammit. No. Not, money trees, you shouldn't even water I use water Sierra every Mist, day. too. What do you got on succulent? Uh, they're similar. They're part of the same They're like cousins, basically. Yeah. Cacti cousins. Mm-hmm. Kissing cousins. What was that, by the way? Kissing cousins? Did you ever talk about that? Hotel New Hampshire. That was a movie. I think it was just straight incest. Kissing cousins. With you. I don't know. It seems like real hillbilly shit, if you ask me. Um, there was a movie with Rob Lowe and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, I think. All right. This one is from Eric. Uh, is it garbage to put a big purchase on your credit card because of a positive conversation you had with a personal injury attorney? <laughs> I respect this dude going for broke, baby. That's real dirtbag. You, you, you get some positive news. You That's a that very new in. thing. Oh, well, yeah. Well, he said, I'm going to make $7 million. I think we we did this not that long ago. What? Well, we were talking about something. I was like, "Oh, cool! I don't have to worry about paying." Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. schmaxes. Uh, no, nah, not my schmaxes. <laughs> my schmaxes are all taken care of. Um, yeah, that's real dirt. I like it though. I like it. I've, I, you know, I've been fortunate enough. This is, you know, Jesus Christ. Now I feel like you a little bit. Um, also, yeah, got this you, guy's real. I got you knocking. This, this, I just got him knocking. We should get a personal injury lawyer on the Patreon. That's pretty good. That's good. And I also had an. Oh fuck! I had another really good idea. Oh my! Oh, we should get a juggalo too. Yes. Okay. That's pretty good. Woo! A juggalo, a personal injury attorney. Uh, also flying next to. I mean, we'll talk about it more in our face. But flying next to this fucking lunatic. I mean, dude, he blesses himself way too often on a plane to make me feel like we're going down. This dude's over there doing fucking the sign of the cross every two seconds. Holy shit, makes you think Jesus is in the bathroom. Laying, what the fuck, dude? I'm laying that cloth over me. I got the Bible out. It's fucking Kavorka over here. If I can sit next to the Corinthians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, mean, I'm like having fun. I'm listening to a fucking you podcast. You bless yourself when you t- you bless yourself and say an act of, concri- act of contrition when you take off. Yeah, we'll do it fucking so privately can, next so you, time. So you can slide into heaven when you... <laughs> you had everybody in rows 7 through 10 freak the fuck out. <laughs> you're, you're eating a cheese it body of Christ, <laughs> sipping the vodka, blood of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking in tongues. I'm Jeez. giving out communion to the dirt balls in the back. <laughs> ah, he's got a bottle of hooch on him, huh, boys? Woo-wee! You don't want to burn in hell, do you? Start drinking. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's tough, man. All right. Uh, let's see here. This one is from Chris. Uh, $20, homie. Whoa. Shout out to the $20 shareholder. Is it garbage to have a fish tank and a bird cage in the same room? Eee. I don't think I have to answer that. that. That's two of the worst, I would assume, smelling pets together. Fish tank, if it's not done right, is bad. Yeah. Bird cage. Bird cages don't use unless you got like a cockatoo or something big in there. If it's like a parakeet, they don't smell. I don't know. Yeah, you clean that shit out. Yeah, but I'm saying, it, yeah, that's another thing. It's like you got to stay on top of it. These things are rarely stayed on top of. I'm not big on on on, on the laziness takes over. I'm not big on the keeping of the birds. Although I love birds. Why? What do they do? I don't understand it. They're beautiful. What do you mean? I love a bird, but I don't feel right keeping it in a cage. Gotta let them out there do their thing. Yeah, but I don't think those birds. Yeah, they would. They would fly around. I don't know if they would survive in the climate. 
Those like fucking yeah, two can like, Sam's aren't gonna last in a New York winter, Daddy. Oh, <laughs> be fucking the pigeons are gonna jack him up, dude. Sweet, get him a rent control department. Yeah, that's not gonna He'll work. He'll make it on his own. <laughs> yeah, no asshole. I fucking Why am I an no, asshole? I'm not saying <laughs> you got not, it out for me today. I'm not saying you came re- in with a dude. I'm not saying release them. I'm saying you shouldn't even bring those kind of birds into that. All right, but this this is another thing. They're in there, like they're at the pet shop. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's not like I'm going to Jamaica and bringing them back with me from sandals. <laughs> like, I'm buying them at a pet shop in New York. Hey, if anybody has you on a plane, you're, <laughs> you're from Jersey. You're my seeing eye dog. All right. Here, put these glasses on and act cool. <laughs> he can talk. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had a bird that could talk. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, hmm. I have an are you garbage question. I'm listening. Are you garbage if you go to get water for the crew, you get yourself a giant one and Kippy a tiny one? That's crazy. You've had it out for me since this fucking podcast started. No, dickhead. I have to drink a lot of water. and Is I have this a- not a power move? I-, I oh, Dude, he's got a gallon of water on his fucking... And I, he goes, I'll, he, texts, he texts the crew, I'll get waters, I'll get whatever you need. He buys two rinky-dink little fucking Fiji's. The Fiji's, dick. What are you talking about? That's Clancy. Yeah, but... The- You're not supposed to drink that much of that. <laughs> you got a gallon of it. I'm looking out for you, Kippy. You stink. I was legit mad. I opened up the fridge. I go, where the fuck are the waters? Your dirt ball digestive system is not accustomed to a fine product like Fiji. You drink Pure Life like a like a scumbag. Yeah, but a big one at least. <laughs> this is like, I'm gonna thimble a Fiji. This is this is Fuji anyway. Hold on, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get this? The guy on the corner. It's Lauren Hill's new water. Nothing on that. You're something else. Listen, talk about one way. Oh, I, what else? All right, well, hold on. That's what's even that for the name. I had I had I had lunch. I got a lot of hard. We spent we spent four days in L.A. I got a lot of hard feelings. I had lunch before this, so I got a big bottle of water. You have a diet coke in the fridge, and I got him a. First Red of all, Bull. a diet coke so you pulled it out of the ocean. It was all wet and stuff. I'm not touching that thing. What do you mean? Not, it was soaked. What? That what? That's been in there. I didn't buy you a new diet coke. Why not? Because there was one in there. Uh, you just said I got you that you got a diet coke. I said you had a this diet. This is real fishy. No, I one said, time he goes, I'm gonna go. You the have, whole thing's fucked up. You had a diet coke in there. I knew there was no Red Bull in there. I got Toby your Red Bull. I got, and I got you. I got you two ounces of water. <laughs> you fucking this guy's one way. Name streets after you. <laughs> this is egregious. <laughs> Uh, guys, we got to wrap it up. We love yous. We do. Gang, we absolutely love you. Come out and see us on the old live show there. Things mm-hmm. are about to kick into high gear, so come out and see us. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.